Okay, the types of natural decay we've been dealing with so far involve a radioactive nucleus barfing out a piece of itself, either an alpha particle or a beta particle or maybe even a positron. Now, not only can a nucleus emit a decay particle to become more stable, in very rare situations, a radioactive nucleus can actually take in a particle. This is called K-capture. This is a simplified diagram of the model of the atom, the Bohr model, showing the nucleus, the positive nucleus because of the positive protons, and the energy levels outside the nucleus that contain electrons. Now today we call this the first energy level, the second energy level, the third energy level. But back in the day they used to call this the K shell, the L shell, the M shell. This used to be called the K shell. Now under rare circumstances the nucleus can actually take an electron from the K shell and absorb it into itself, gaining an electron from the K shell. Since it's capturing a K electron, we call this type of decay K capture. And again, this is a very rare example, but it does happen, so let me show you how it works. For arsenic 73, uh oh, we need the atomic number. The atomic number of arsenic is 33 undergoes K capture. Now what this means is again it's absorbing an electron from the first energy level, the K shell. It's capturing an electron. This is the opposite of beta decay. See in beta decay the nucleus bleh, burps out a beta particle but in K capture it captures a beta particle. But the whole way of doing it still remains the same. The law of conservation of mass 73 plus 0 equals 73. 33 and negative 1 gives you 32. And element 32 is germanium. And so that's how K-capture works. Let's do another example. AU-195, gold-195. 195 AU, we need to find its atomic number. AU has an atomic number of 79. And it undergoes K-capture to form 195 plus 0 is 195, 79 and negative 1 is 78, and element 78 is platinum. So let's take a look at what's happening here. The mass isn't changing because electrons don't have any mass. doesn't matter whether you gain it or lose it. Electrons are not going to impact the mass at all. But the atomic number goes down by 1. The atomic number goes down by 1. This is one way an atom has, if there are too many protons compared to neutrons, to get rid of protons by turning a proton into a neutron. The mass remains the same and the atomic number decreases by one. And that's K-capture, a very rare type of natural radioactive decay.